Okay, so again, good morning, all of you. I'm Nitish Kumar from a campaign department. I am the host of your today's induction program with my co-host, Miss. Uh, um, uh, good morning, all of you. Uh, my name uh, Orpita Ghosh. I am in civil engineering department. Uh, so may sir, please may. Okay, so today's we are going to learn something about basic science and humanities department. So uh, we have our HOD of uh, department of BSH, Dr. Din Bandhu Mandal. So he will elaborate you. So I am requesting Dr. Din Bandhu Mandal, sir, to please uh, provide induction part of the department. Okay, Din Bandhu, sir, can you hear me? Yes. <clears throat> Continue. May I double? Yes, sir, yes, sir. <clears throat> Mandal, HOD of Basic Science Humanities. Actually, the Department of Basic Science Humanities of Chayabasa Engineering College has been established in the year of 2013, emerged under the leadership of Dr. Giridhari Hajra. At present, it is continuing its creditable course under the efficient administration of myself. A tireless team of six quality, qualified faculty members, Dr. Dinbandhu Mandal, as a myself, Dr. Suresh Kumar, Mr. Manoj Kumar Mandal, Dr. Tara Sankar Das, Momita Sadhu, and Jayam Kharji, all are dwelling masters, doctorate, degree from Renwood Institute of this country. The Department of Basics and Humanities <clears throat> teaches and promotes practical aspect of basic science humanities to build a strong foundation as part of all engineering disciplines. The department prepares students for core engineering branches by educating team of educating them in the basic science of physics, chemistry, and mathematics in first year. The department is structured with good laboratories containing sophisticated instruments of students to perform experiments within the academic schedule. The department also developed communication skills and critical thinking among the students. <clears throat> That's all, thank you. Uh, okay, so this was the introductory part of Dr. Dimandu Mandal sir. So now I request Dr. Tasankar Das sir to say something. Tasankar sir, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Am I audible to you? Yes, 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 clearly. Please continue. Okay, so uh, good morning, everyone. I am Dr. Tarasankar Das. I'm a chemistry teacher uh, in the Department of Basic Science and Humanities Department. <clears throat> so uh, I'll be teaching chemistry and uh, I did my undergraduate degrees from Vidas University in Nepal, West Bengal. I did my PhD from uh, Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research, Kolkata. And I, then I did my postdoctors, doctoral degree from IIT Bombay, and then Wisconsin, University of Wisconsin, Madison, USA. And I have been uh, working here since 2019. And uh, I'll be teaching you chemistry in your first semester, as well as in second semester. For mechanical and civil branch, I'll be teaching chemistry in the first semester and from electronics, electrical, and civil engineering, uh, sorry, uh, mechanical department, I'll, uh, sorry, uh, electronics, computer science, and electrical department, I'll be teaching chemistry in the second semester with the laboratories. And also I'll be teaching environmental science in your third semester, okay. So I'll discuss you about the syllabus and other things in the respective classes, so, that's all for now about me and thank you all and see you in the class soon. 
Oh, thank you, sir, for your kind words. So I am uh, uh, requesting Miss Abita Ghosh, madam, to continue. Um, I am requesting you, Miss uh, Jaya Mukherjee, madam, please say something. Uh, very good morning to all of you. Myself, Jaya Mukherjee, from Basic Science and Humanities Department. I will give you a little bit introduction of myself. I have completed my master's from Kulhan University. I am pursuing my PhD. Since from 2019, I have joined this college and I will take the classes of English, communication English, that is communication skill lab that enhance your skills of learning presentation and moreover, to come out from stage fright and make you all prepare for your interviews and presentation skills. And I also take class of GP and seminar, that is group discussion and seminar to enhance the stage fright and to compete you all in all the interviews and wherever you need communication skills. As we all know, facing an interview is more important than any written exam because many students used to feel pride, they feel not so confident while communicating. So I used to, I try my best and I used to teach my student to complete and to come over from this stage right through group discussions, through their presentation skills, and um, that's all from my side. Thank you to all. Thank you, madam, for your kind words. Uh, so now I request to Mr. Manoj Kumar Mandal, sir, to say something. Manoj, sir, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, please continue. Thank you, sir. First of all, thank you, Nidhi, sir, and Pita Ghosh, ma'am. Good morning to everyone from Basic Science and Humanities Department in Chaiwasa Engineering College. I am going to teach you physics from your current semester, that is first semester and second semester in your first year only. I hope a lot of you are well, well aware about me as I was there during the physical admission process. I am sure very soon we would be able to start physical classes and looking forward to meet all of you again at campus. Finally, I wish all the best to everyone and stay safe and study hard. Thank you. Thank you all. Next, I request uh, Ms. Momita Shadhu, madam. Momita Shadhu, madam. So uh, next, I request uh, Mr. Atanu Mukherjee, sir. Atanu Mukherjee, sir. I request to Madam uh, Miss Momita Shadu, Madam. Yes, am I audible to you? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. A very good morning and thank you, sir and madam. And 
my dear students i would like to introduce myself my name is momita shadu and i have completed my undergraduation uh, from wbut and uh, then i have completed my mba finance from university of calcutta and right now i am pursuing phd and uh, while i am working here since uh, 2016 february and i will be taking your classes in the first year there will be class of uh, there is a subject course that is hsmc 101 that is english and in third sem again i will be taking another uh, subject that is your hs301 uh, that is your communication skill lab now i would like to say about uh, the subject that uh, what is the importance of my subject in your curriculum why are you here to attend my class because uh, as it is a engineering background uh, courses means mechanical ec that is uh, civil engineering then uh, computer science all are accumulated in uh, in this group now so i would like to enhance the subject in the di dimension of professional platform that means whenever you are going to pass this course the essence of my subject will start from that point that that will encourage you to grow the professional culture working culture communication at workplace as well as i will be um, showing and taking your psychometric test while uh, handling the lab so that you can understand what does the recruitment process is all about as a whole in a holistic management way i would like to say i will Uh, help you in the personality development that's all so thank you madam uh, for your kind words so now i request mr atnu mukherjee sir to please say something about so amara am i audible amara yes sir yes sir please continue acha i am sri atnu mukherjee Uh, assistant professor at mechanical engineering department from 2013 onwards till date so i am involved in teaching of uh, engineering drawing earlier i used to see whatsapp also now the syllabus has changed up to jharkhand university of technology so sudden new subjects has come to me that is all okay hello sir thank you thank you sir so okay one more point uh, i have got a special uh, designation uh, obtained from nba that is uh, adjunct faculty because i am experienced person i have worked 29 years in rawalpindi steel plant so you can share the experience with come over here okay theek hai thank you sir uh, he is very dynamic teacher he has uh, so many experience earlier in the steel and uh, now he is teaching in our department so now i request uh, dr das ankar das sir so please uh, show the chemistry lab visit das ankar sir can you hear me yes sir i can hear you please continue sir okay so again hello to everyone now i'll be showing you the chemistry lab in our department basic science department so uh, if i can switch my camera so this is the corridor of the basic science and humanities department okay so in left side we have the chemistry lab okay here you can see maybe due to the network problem sometimes the picture may be little hazy but i'll try my best to hold it steady and move it slowly okay so here you can see the chemistry lab in the room number bsa004 okay okay so next first thing in our chemistry lab we have to know that the safety is the first thing we have to keep in mind and uh, so here you can see before entering to the chemistry lab the personal protective equipments is very much necessary here you can see we need safety goggles we need lab coat 
we need gloves we need long pants and close to shoes means without these we cannot enter into the lab because our life is so precious so safety is the first thing we need to concerned about so sometimes students can come with some uh, casual dress or uh, half sleeve shirt but that is these things are not allowed okay so we have to have in which day we have chemistry lab then we in this days we have to maintain this uh, rule that we have to have a uh, long pants close to shoes otherwise you are not be allowed to enter to the chemistry lab okay next thing is that there are uh, four fire fire extinguishers in our chemistry lab you know uh, in chemistry lab it is very obvious that it can catch the fire okay now i am entering to the chemistry lab okay so this is the total overview of the chemistry lab okay so one by one i will tell you what is what okay so first thing again these are the do's and don'ts in the chemistry lab i don't know whether you have you can hear my uh, you can see my screen clearly or not so yeah so these are the lab safety do's and don'ts means what are the things you can do or you should do or you have to do and what are the things you have to uh, avoid okay to do the experiments safely and uh, and very well okay so these are the do's and don'ts i am not uh, reading these one by one there are so many rules but when we'll start the laboratory class we, i will discuss all these points and we'll discuss about these rules first okay safety first okay so there are another safety uh, poster is here okay all right now these are the mission and vision of the upper institute okay so uh, these things we always keep things mind that what are the vision and what are the missions in our institutes that we should know we should know okay i only can read the vision part that to be a place where engineering education is driven by innovative teaching learning methods aiming to develop competent professional engineering graduates by imparting awareness on higher education and sense of responsibility towards society okay fine so these are the visions and i can read the mission also to uh, for your knowledge so to impart engineering education with the help of interactive teaching learning method by strengthening fundamentals of engineering engineering second one is the to to provide additional exposure in the form of assignments training visits projects besides curriculum to prepare students for future professional challenges and the third one is the to create an academic atmosphere where in students will be encouraged to solve real life problems of society by applying engineering knowledge and skills so from the mission and vision you can understand we have to know the subjects very well to be a good engineer to be a good citizen to be a qualified person okay so this is the periodic table you know okay uh, in chemistry you have to have the knowledge of elements because this is all about the uh, chemistry okay and how they interact with other materials how they behave in a different environment okay and next thing is the list of experiments according to the revised syllabus of jharkhand university of technology rachi so these are the experiments we will be performing in our laboratory okay so some of your electrical basis some of our synthesis chemical basis some some of these are non electrical okay i will discuss all these details when we will start with our chemistry lab okay and okay so now one by one i will show you how the instruments we have what are the facilities we have the first thing you have to know i already mentioned that we have uh, fire extinguisher this is very important whenever it catches fire how we can manage how we can maintain all these things and we have the exhaust fan for exhaust fan because when we will perform some synthesis experiment the, all the room will be full of smoke it, it can be full of smoke so when the exhaust fan is on so it can remove all these things so we so that they are maintaining the air flow inside the laboratory okay acha next thing i will start with a our conductivity meter okay you can see this is the conductivity meter where we can measure the conductance of a solution okay if i can make it landscape more i think you can see it better here is the power source we have two conductivity meter outside we have more also but we only do in two groups uh, separate and we have if we have more groups then we can 
use other instrument other setup also so this is one conductivity of an instrument this is the solution we have kept it and the electrodes are there okay we have the uh, uh, dryer to dry our uh, apparatus so suppose we have to we have cleaned the beaker we have cleaned the burette suppose you need to dry it okay so after washing with ethanol or acetone those are the volatile solvents you can dry them by the hair dryer okay this is the dry thing we have the sensitive balance okay means in the decimal range of the milligram you can weigh it here we have two uh, balance weighing balance so it is the sensitive balance you can see here okay next thing we have the heating mantle we have the six setups of heating mantle okay where we will um, uh, heat or make some reactions it will stir and it will heat the our uh, reaction basin okay it's okay Achha. next we have several glass apparatus also first of all the thing is that this is our uh, this is our viscometer where we will measure the measure the viscosity of our instrument if i can rotate it in the portrait model i can show you better okay so this is our viscometer and we have the stalagmometer i can show you one by one i am just moving one part of the lab to another part this is another uh, uh, fire extinguishers and it is the wash basin okay this is the oven when we will clean our glass apparatus so we need to dry them so we just put them inside okay we then put the basin and if you turn it on then it will dry after washing we need to dry just will not be any water before starting any experiment in, in any kind of uh, glass apparatus okay here is the another important thing this is the water distillation setup i don't know whether you can see it clearly or not if i can move it in other way i think it is visible sorry yeah so this is the this is the setup okay i can turn it on to make you understand better just a bit So this is the power setup, okay. And uh, we already started it. So when it will start it, the water will boil here and it will condense by this. There is a continuous air, uh, sorry, water flow uh, in that setup to condense the water, uh, water here, and it will be collecting in this conical flask, okay. So this, in that way, we can uh, distill the water. You know, the water is very important. It should be pure, pure. There should not be any impurity. So to make a pure water, purified water, we have to make the distilled water. Okay. So when we visit the lab or when we start the experiment, we will use this instrument in our hand by as well. Achha. So next thing is this is the fume hood. Fume hood means suppose you are going to work with some hazardous chemicals. So vapor of those uh, chemicals is uh, very much dangerous for our health. So what we will do? We will do, we will put turn on this switch. So there is a continuous airflow from outside to inside. Suppose we will, when we work with any kind of thing here, the vapor or any chemical will not come, vapor will not come out. Okay, this is a glass. This is a chemical protected glass. You can see here this one. Okay, I can make it landscape for you. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. This is the chemical protective uh, glass is here. So it will not spill to your body also. Okay. And the vapor will not come to you also. The vapor will go out. It is set up, set it up in, from the outside. It's all the vapor will go out to the terrace. Okay. And any hazardous chemicals also, we can keep it in this cabinet. You can see this is the hazardous chemicals cabinet. Uh, we keep uh, concentrated sulfuric acid, we keep acetic acid, we keep nitric acid, all these hazardous chemicals here. You know how much dangerous these are. The sulfuric acid is dangerous. You know all that. Okay. So, and the, all the strong acid also, we keep it here. Hazardous chemicals means there are something which is not acid as well, but it may be hazardous for our health. So, for now, I'm turning off the 
exhaust fan, but light is on. Okay. Also, we have the base bath solution. Base bath solution is such a solution which will help you to clean the glass apparatus before washing with water. Okay. Achha. Next thing we have the ice maker. Suppose in any chemistry experiment, we need ice. So we have the ice maker. Okay. And this is the, our discussion board where we'll discuss our, about the experiment before it will start. Okay. So next we have the, some instrument cabinet where we'll keep uh, some uh, precious, some expensive instruments here actually. And next thing we have the freezer. So there are so many chemicals which are sensitive to temperature. Okay. So we have to keep in the low temperature. So you can see it is maintained 10 degrees Celsius here. And it's when the temperature will rise, it will automatically it will turn on. Okay. Otherwise, it will maintain the temperature. See, it will automatically off because 10 degrees Celsius temperature reached here. Okay. So this is the chemical freezer to store the sensitive temperature sensitive chemicals. Here we have another uh, poster to, for our safety protocols. Okay. And we have another door. I have to, I should have mentioned it before. There is the first entrance of the chemistry lab. You can see here. And here is the second entrance. This is the fire exit you can see. See. Okay. Means if something happens in the first door, then we, have, we can go out with the second door. Okay. So in any chemistry lab, there should have a, should have two uh, doors, like door actually. This is the fire exit you can see. So for now, I'm closing the door because we are not performing any experiment now. Okay. So this is another fire extinguishers. Okay. And what I have mentioned that we have two sensitive weighing balance. We already I have shown it one. This is another one. Okay. And we have uh, chemicals like uh, solid, salt chemicals, liquid chemicals. All these are the stored here. These are the list of chemicals we have. This is one cabinet, Dex two. And we have another cabinet to store the chemicals. This, this is the disc one, okay. And despite of the, those strong acids actually, we have so many chemicals, some chemicals also here also, okay. You can see it here. And we have the sink so that if we need any kind of thing to wash, these are the, for the two sinks are there, okay. This is not for the hand wash, the hand wash basically is different, separate, okay. So, and another we have the stalagmometer, and we have the viscometer, you can see it here. This viscometer instrument will help you to measure the viscosity of the instrument. Okay. And stalagmometer for the surface tensor of the instrument. We'll discuss one by one we'll start the experiment. Okay. And already you can see the, from the poster that this is the brief introduction of the experiment. How we can measure the viscosity, what is chemical oscillation reaction. Okay. I'll discuss about the all these things we will we'll discuss the our the experiments okay so these are the things we have in our chemistry lab and we have uh, due to the take three fund we have so many more ex experiments uh, instruments as you can i already said we have the six setups of conductivity meter we have uh, two setups of ph meter we have potential meter okay so when we start the experiment we will know about all these things okay so I think uh, that is all from me. And if you have any question about the chemistry lab, you can ask me, just quick question. We'll start all these things in our lab also, lab class. But still, if you have any question, you can ask me now. Do you have any question? You can raise your hand, then our host, Sarah, will meet you. Do you have any question? Great, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, that was this okay, thank you. visit of chemistry lab and uh, exchange of knowledge i hope all of us have been able to talk something from lab visit and i request uh, okay, thank you. electrical lab visit by anil kumar sir and rakesh kumar gupta sir anil sir yes ma'am hello good morning good morning sir Please um, visit uh, Elliptical Lab. Okay, thank you, ma'am. So, hello. Good morning to all of you. Just make a minute.
हेलो यस सर यू आर क्लियरली ऑडिबल एंड योर वीडियो कैन बी सीन ऑन द स्क्रीन सो प्लीज ओके ओके थैंक यू सर सो गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माय सेल्फ अनिल कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट सो वी आर गोइंग टू ओवरव्यू ऑफ द बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग लैब सो दिस इज आवर बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग लैब वेयर वी फाइंड दिस सम बेसिक एक्सपेरिमेंट सो लेट्स टू वी डिस्कस वन बाय वन ओके दैट इज different connection of three phase power transformer okay. so i think uh, all of you familiar with the transformer okay uh, because it is very most important equipment of the electrical engineering and the surrounding environment we may find out to very frequently use this device okay so this is the three phase transformer Okay, I think uh, we are fine here. Uh, two winding, one is your third winding of the transformer, and the other second winding of the transformer. Okay, so this is the panel for different uh, connection. That means you may be. I think you are familiar with the connection of the three-phase winding as in star or delta. So I think uh, this will be discussed in the. basically electrical theory class about the three phase winding star delta okay. so you may find out physically here the transformer three phase winding transformer okay uh, primary winding and secondary winding and we can use primary winding for the supply given to the transformer and the secondary winding power delivered to the load okay according to your Power requirement or load requirement. You may be select your power rating of the transformer. Here we use two kVA and four hundred volt, two hundred thirty volt. Okay. So power rating of the transformer is two hundred kVA and uh, primary side voltage rating is your four hundred volt and second side voltage rating is two hundred thirty volt. Okay. So you may be select that one is your side voltage and other is your low voltage side. From the primary side, that is the high voltage side, supply given to the transformer, and the secondary side, you may be connect uh, some load. Okay, so this is your load terminal where we can connect the secondary side of the transformer. So you may find out when you visit the college and lab, then you can all the connection can can perform this experiment with your own hand. Okay, so this is one of the Most important experiment in the basic electrical lab. The next one, we will find out to some experiment of the motor. Okay. So either you may be know that the electrical power is the only application of the power. So we will find out to some motor. Okay. Some motor. For the AC motor and uh, AC power supply given to the motor, and some motor may be find out uh, which one operating by the DC supply. Okay, so this is your uh, speed control of three phase spiral phase induction motor by uh, voltage and frequency control. Okay, so if you control the voltage and frequency supply of this uh, three phase induction motor, then you are able to control the speed of this induction motor. Okay, this is your induction motor. And this is the panel for the supply given an instrument connection that is voltmeter, ammeter, wattmeter. What is the uh, power and voltmeter? Uh, power consumed by this motor and voltmeter and ammeter. That is a supply current can be you know down to this ammeter and voltmeter. Okay. And next experiment we are going to discuss uh, that is the current characteristic of again induction motor. So this is the panel. Okay, this is your indicator of the panel uh, supply is given, and uh, this is your auto transformer that is the supply voltage you have to control. So when you visit the lab 
all the connection you can do with your own hand and perform the experiment and note down all the parameters of the experiment required. Okay. And next one, you will find out some cross sectional view of the various types of motor. Okay. So, this is your induction motor. Okay. This one. So, if you can find out the various components, that means this one is your rotor of the motor, and this one, you know, is the stator part. Okay. So, one is well placed on the stator, and another is well placed on the rotor. Okay. So, you will find out the arrangement of uh, rotor and uh, a stator where the field winding and armature point we own. Okay. So this is the internal cross section. This is your one of the application for the DC motor. Okay. So you will find out again here various uh, parts that is a stator and rotor where we can place the field winding and armature winding. Okay. And some Commutator segment, a brush, you may find out here. This is known as the computer, uh, sorry, computer. And this one is your brush, where we attach on the computer segment. This one is known as the computer segment. Okay. So here we can take the you know, power outside from uh, this uh, DC generator or maybe power supply to the DC motor. Okay. So this is the motor. Nothing but the electrical device is a convert the electrical energy to the mechanical energy. Where you require the mechanical energy, you can use this motor for the electrical energy. Okay. So, these are the various back answers are the alternator. Okay. DC motor. Okay. So, you will find out that this is the Heat file and armature file terminal will be placed here with two files. Okay. This one is the heat file terminal, and this one will be the armature file indicator. So, you will be uh, find the computer segment, and this is the rotor file. This one. Okay. And you will find out, I think, is it visible to you or not? This is the internal part that is. Uh, you uh, place on the state and the answer that we uh, produce that is placed in the rubber part. Okay. And due to this uh, key part, we will produce what is such so that the can be used in the answer part. Okay. So this application will handle and yeah. So let's go for the next experiment. So this is the operating characteristic of the synchronous generator. Okay. As I said, now you more with the load. So you will find out the synchronous alternator is one of the uh, device that we can use for the power generation in the power plant. Okay. So that synchronous generator we drive by the subprime mover. You will find out the uh, in the Power plant, different type of uh, power plant or prime mover you can use as a thermal or nuclear. But here we use in laboratory, this synchronous uh, generator can be drive with the motor. Okay, so here this motor and generator segment, you will find out this uh, generator uh, can be drive with the motor, DC motor. Okay, so can uh, power can be generated and uh, supply given. To the load, we find out some load, electrical load that uh, bulb is installed here. Okay, so when you power the net, that power can be used uh, as a light uh, through this bulb. Okay, so this we have to consider. And next, we are going to do some single phase transformer. Okay, sometimes uh, earlier we discussed about the three phase, okay. but this is for the single phase transformer. So you will find out here single winding instead of three winding for the three phase transformer. 
So one one is for the primary coil and another one for the secondary coil. Okay. Since a single phase coil is transformable, so one uh, phase only gives that phase. Single phase. Okay. Power and voltage rating you may find out on the panel. What were the uh, rating of the transformer? Okay. So this is the physical measurement uh, of the transformer. Then the power rating is two ten meter and voltage rating is. 220 volt, this side and this side. So, this experiment is generally used for the no load and load test support on the single phase transformer. Okay. So, this is another type of experiment. And okay. I think you are familiar from this experiment in the 12th class also. Okay. So, the and this is a steady state source of the RLC circuit. So, I will connect a one time for the RL, another time for the RC, and RLC component at the same time. Okay. So, this one, you may find out a voltmeter, emitter, and voltmeter connection, and this is your variable supply, voltage variable source. Okay. When you move this off, you will find out the variable voltage and this variable. So you can control this supply voltage for this value. And you will find out the component that is resistance inter capacitor. Okay. There are different types of resistance rating provided through this uh, speech. You can uh, put one switch on resistance and you can connect it with the Okay. So you can add another type of resistance and find the capacitor resistance right here. Different type of value. You will find out this now movement for the interface value. And this is your for the capacitor value switch. Okay. If you put on, then two micro parameters will be connected. So you will find out the statistic and condition uh, response of this energy circuit. Okay. So this is the power system some device that means you will find out in your home also. Okay. So it's a protective device that means the relay. Okay. And as you see, so you can control the power in your home or in your office and in another place. Okay. So when you on this uh, that means you can control the supply. Okay. And this is your relay, that means your protective device of the device, uh, one of the most protective device where you can control any parameters of the either voltage or current, either increase or power created, then your uh, protective relay device protect your load. Okay. It's a bit default. Okay. So, I think, uh, okay. So, you will find out some basic instrument. I think you are familiar from this uh, instrument that is voltmeter, emitter, and multimeter. Okay. This is how we can use the multimeter. Okay. So, you will find out the various applications for the multimeter. That means we can measure the either voltmeter. DC or resistance or capacitor value. Yeah, the various basic technical elements are provided. That is, resistance, capacitor, and resistance just a meter. Meter resistance, capacitor value. The help of this multimeter. Okay. And what is the of multimeter? So I think uh, this is all about from the basic electrical engineering. Okay, then you visit, uh, you perform uh, this type of experiment in the basic electrical engineering lab. Okay, so thank you. I want to hand over to the Monta Saduman. Hello. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you very much.
Thank you, sir. So this is from the basic electrical side. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So now I request uh, Mr. Manoj Kumar Mandal, sir. Sir, can you hear me, Manoj, sir? So please continue. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can hear you. So here, Manoj sir will uh, elaborate to you the visit of physics lab. So please watch and enjoy. Sir, please stop the skin share. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please continue. Okay. Again, I am good morning to all of you. Now I am visit the physics lab. So before you entering the physics lab, you can see this. This is the front gate of our basic science and humanities department. And in front of gate, we have two physics lab. One is there, physics lab, that is room number BSS003. And another is dark, that is room number BSS007. Please, before you entering the physics lab, all of you have please seen this thing. This is don't read, just interact in front of our physics lab. So please follow this guideline and Entering the physics lab. Can you hear? Sir, you are muted. Please unmute yourself. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, I can hear you, but your voice is not coming clearly. My voice is not clear. Yes, yes, sir. Now, now it is clear, sir. Please continue. I'm sorry for that. Due to some network network issue, maybe voice can't be audible clear. Now I am enter the physics lab. This is our physics lab. This is the safety and application of lab instruction. And lab instruction that is do and do not do. Any student can what to do and what do not do. And this is the vision and mission of our institution already informed to you. And these are the list of experiments according to our revised syllabus of Jharkhand University of Technology, Ranchi. So please, 
you can see this one by one and this is the notice word of physics lab and here the parameters of there uh, that is list of experiment is there for first semester but in physics lab that is only for you to do for first semester and these are the list of experiment this the criteria of marsh from day to day basis here uh, practical okay and these are the lab manual and these are the basic things of physics lab already you have known what is the can you clearly view this video hello yes sir you can see you can see clearly this is screw was this is the mandatory thing for physics lab and this is one year calibers already you have know and and this is the prism it have two surface one is opaque surface and another is refracting refracting surface now we can visit our list of experiment details this is the experiment number 1 halmach coil experiment uh, in this uh, experiment we determine the variation of magnetic field with distance along the axis of circular current carrying coil and to calculate the diameter of this coil this is the experiment setup of alman coil yes rest instrument of the helmans coil is this this experiments uh, consist of four instrument number 1 number 2 number 3 and this is number 4 in this experiment uh, to study the variation of magnetic field with distance along the axis of a circular current carrying coil and to calculate the diameter of this coil and this is the experiment setup now i am visit to another experiment this is experiment number 2 frank hertz experiment this experiments consist of two setup one is here and another is also here this is two setup in this experiment we have to 
measure the excitation potential of atoms by Frank. And this is the experiment setup. So please let's go to our another experiment. This experiment name is resonance phenomenon in LCR circuit. And in this LCR circuit, we have to calculate the or analysis of impedance and hence estimation of resonance frequency or series and parallel circuit. This is the experiment setup. One is a parallel connection and another is series connection. And these experiments consist of three setup. One is here and rest two is here. One is series connection and another is parallel connection. In this lab, we do only three experiments. That is uh, number one, uh, Hellman's coil experiment. And number two, This is the dark, dark room physics department, physics lab, room number BSS 007. Same thing is there. This is the list of experiment. As for the revised syllabus of Jharkhand University of Technology. And in this lab, we also have safety and precaution and lab instruction that is do's and don'ts do. This is the plant constant experiment. One is in old technology. And this experiments consist of two setup. One is old technology and another is latest technology. This is also a constant experiment. And this is also another experiment. This dispersive power of calculate or find out the dispersive power of a prism. And this is the experiment setup. Here prism stand is there. This is prism. Uh, till now prism is not well, but prism's condition is very bad. Can you see this video? Yes, sir, it is clear, uh, clearly seen. So please continue. These experiments also consist of two setup. One is here. Another is also. Some experiment are waiting for you. Because 
some part is missing about this section. And this is also. Thank you, Mono sir. Uh, next, uh, I request uh, Jaya Madam, Jaya uh, Mukherjee Madam, uh, visit Language Lab. Uh, thank you, Madam. Yeah, uh, very welcome to all of you. Now we will have a lab two. Your English language lab is situated in the first floor of basic science and humanities department. That is room number 102. This is your language lab. Okay, outside the language lab, you can see what experiments we are going to perform the name of the experiments in which the course outcome it is more relevant and we will cover which kind of PO and PSOs. So first one is your listening, speaking, reading and writing that we call in short LSRW that is listening, speaking, reading and writing. These are the four pillars of English communication. Here outside, you can see the mission and vision of our college. Now, this is the first entrance of your language lab. Now, moving from here, you can see the another entrance of your language lab. That is PS102. This is another entrance. Now, we will move inside the language lab. And this whole corridor is under your CCTV surveillance. You will be in the CCTV surveillance. Now, before entering the language lab, there are certain rules that you have to follow when you will come to the college. You have to put outside your bag. You have to switch off your cell phone. You have to open your shoes. Or Language lab. After that, we will enter to the language lab. And you have to switch off your phone and you have to submit your phone, cell phones here. No one will sit with the cell phone. Now, this is the view. You can see this is the view, a beautiful view, a very nice, well decorated Wi Fi, AC, central AC classroom. Here are well equipped with the speakers. Can you see me clearly? You can just see how beautiful yes, your language. Yeah, okay. How beautiful your communication yeah. English yes, language lab is. This is the view of your language lab. So you can see how clean it is and it's your duty that you have to maintain the cleanness of this language lab so that we only outside the language lab. 
Now I'm going to close the door to make the overall view. Okay, now just come with your syllabus. This is the syllabus and the list of experiments that we are going to perform in this language lab. That is communication skill lab, HS301 is the subject code. And this is the list of experiment that is according to the syllabus of JUT. The first experiment is your vocabulary building in which we are relevant with which CO and PO. The course outcome of this one is CO1, CO3. We will make you understand what is this course outcome later when you will come, when you will enter to your class physically. The name of our second experiment is writing skills. The name of our third experiment is group discussion. It is a very important part of this language lab. This group discussion, presentation skill, interview skills. Another, another one is the introduction to phonetics, your interpersonal communication, the telephonic communication, technical report writing as you all are from technical background the technical report writing is very important you must know how to write a technical report and another one is your situational dialogues now the very nice quote the inspirational quote which is here in when you will enter the class is the wisdom is knowledge what to do next a skill is knowing how to do it and virtue is doing it. It's a very inspirational quote for you all technical students. So be skillful another than just read and getting your certificate. Now, just come. I have to just show you some of the copy, your note, the practical note copy. Know that how to write. The first thing is that you have to take a practical copy as you are taking for physics and chemistry. This is a practical copy. It is a classmate and you have to just cover it. And the front page should be like this, where your name, your paper code, your department, your university roll number from which semester you belong and from which session. Okay. After that, here are the list of experiments, how you have to write the date and page number. Another thing I would like to say, you have to also perform some activities and you have to make a report for like that in this plastic file and you report the front paper of this press of your report writing should be like this. Are you able to see me clearly? Am I clear to you all? Yes, ma'am, please continue. Okay. So this is how you have to submit your report of which assignment you are going to do. The list of assignment and list of experiments, both are different things. Experiment is something which we are going to perform and you have to write the objective in methodology and the conclusion. And in assignment is that part where you have to submit the PowerPoint presentation. Sometimes you have to write the technical reports on the topic on what you are presenting your presentation. Now, I'm just making a view, a tour to your lab. The lab is having a capacity of 60 students. See how beautiful there is a fire extinguisher. You can see the AC, centralized AC of this classroom. These are the speakers. When you will present your presentation, this is the speakers. You will see in the corners. This is a seating arrangement, or you can say the seating capacity. And the whole lab, your seating is under CCTV surveillance. You are always inside in your lab. There is a CCTV. If any student doing any kind of mischief activities, his or her activities will be caught and they have to pay the penalty and actions will be taken from the college. So maintenance of this lab is also 
very good you can see how this lab is well maintained and it's your responsible when you enter to the lab you have to also maintain the lab these are the headphones when we come we will see this is a microphone when you come when you present your presentation from here this is a wireless microphone you have to speak on now this is the board this is your projector here is a big lcd screen you can see here all your nptl and MOOCs courses classes are conducted here is the computer from where you can conduct you can present your presentation you can bring your presentation in the pen drive here you can present now i will show you just let me give me some time so that i can switch off you can see clearly the presentation just make it little bit the room so you can clearly see the presentation see how we will conduct this presentation from here we will change just let me put this camera over here okay now i will change the slide Now, why study of phonetics is important? This is one of the experiment from your list. Why study of phonetics is important? A knowledge of phonetics is a must for a learner of the English language. This knowledge enables him or her to give a true description of sounds of English and how they are made. To point out the mistakes in learners' pronunciation and help them learn the correct form. To differentiate sounds of English from those of the mother tongue. As we know, whenever we speak, we always have little bit touch of our mother tongue while speaking. So, next one, study of phonetics. Can you see how beautiful you can also present here like your presentation? And you will also come sometimes over here, here, where it's a stage where we come, you will present, you have to form a group, a group will work to do their presentation work. Next part, see what I'm showing on the screen is directly projected to that board, whiteboard. See the same thing. I am changing here what is phonetics, what is phonology. See, what is the difference between phonetics and phonology? So what's the difference between phonetics and phonology? The first and most important thing when you learn English, when you pronounce English, phonetic deals with production, transmission, and reception of all human speech sounds in general with no particular reference to any one language. Whereas phonology deals with the ways those sounds are organized in particular language it is subcategory of phonetics like that you have to present your presentation skills discover your presentation skills that is experiment number four is the presentation skill and experiment number six that is introduction to phonetics the two experiments we are covering here you can see like that all things are interrelated with each other see how beautiful it looks 
Now, let me come with a list of experiments. Let me first switch on the light. Okay, now I'm just coming with you this lab manual. This is the lab manual for English company. Here you can see here what is presented on that wall. You have list of experiments that is tested on the wall. The same list of experiments is here. How we write experiments? This is the lab manual from which you will do all your experiments. Now, next part, through the last, although from the last two years, past two years, we are having online classes. Physically, the students were not able to present in the class, so they are unable to submit their lab copies. So for that, we have done that they have to submit their experiments that is being done virtually they have to submit in the google classroom and we teachers used to check those copies we take out the printout of those copies in this way and we check them and mark them your total and overall marks will be given in this way only you don't think that when we will not able to attend the class the experiments are not going on these all things are going on and we take out the printout of all the students. We mark on that basis, we give marks to the students. So this is totally your virtual tool to your English communication lab. If anyone is having any questions, please raise your hand. Sir or madam will mute you, unmute you. Anyone is having any questions regarding your virtual lab, how it is being helpful, how it helps you to enhance your communication skills. Can raise your hand, sir and madam will unmute you. If anyone is having any questions regarding your virtual tool, you can raise your hand. Okay, thank you from my side. Hope to meet you soon. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. That was a, a wonderful visit of Language Lab. Uh, next, I request Atanu Mukherjee sir to uh, visit Engineering Drawing Lab. Atanu sir. Atanu sir, are you there? Sir, can you hear us? Mr. Atnu Mukherjee, sir, can you hear us? So, we have unmuted. Yes, sir. Please continue. Mobile me, you have yes tower nahi aa raha. Pata nahi hum laptop leke ja raha hai idi lab me. Yes, sir. Ek dekh raha hai ki nahi? Pata na padega. Mobile pe abhi tak chal raha tha. All of a sudden. So. मोबाइल में तो नहीं देख रहे हैं अच्छा वीडियो ऑन वीडियो ऑन कहाँ नहीं देख रहे हैं सर नाउ यू आर कोहोस्ट विथ योर मोबाइल तो यू हैव टू स्टार्ट यू हैव टू अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ ऑन द मोबाइल 
then you can be Anil able to share ya, but in video share nahi ho raha start video nahi ho raha so uh, sir can you please uh, have help uh, of other faculty so that uh, he can so no, 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 no. Nitish sir, are you there? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, please. Yeah, I would like to say, please uh, proceed the program to the next uh, participant because, uh, sir, uh, at that time, sir will arrange the technical part. Okay, okay, ma'am. Atmu sir, so please uh, uh, reconnect after the next session and uh, please arrange something to show the engine drawing lab. So we are moving towards the next uh, part and uh, which is. Of Miss Momita Sadhu Madam. So I request uh, Momita Sadhu Madam to please uh, show uh, the classroom visit of three classroom and one class, uh, one smart classroom. Yeah. Am I visible to you, sir? Uh, yes, ma'am. You are uh, visible. Yeah. Good, mo good morning to all of you again. And I, I would like to show you the virtual and smart classroom. Just a minute. Back camera. Sir, so is it visible now? Uh, yes, ma'am. Clearly yeah. see this video. Please continue. Yeah. Now, uh, these are the vision and mission, and I would not like to repeat this again because every faculty, every of us has uh, shown you this thing. And now, this is the fire extinguisher. These are the equipments present here. And I would like to introduce this uh, virtual and smart classroom. That is, it is a digitally equipped classroom with a huge variety of teaching and learning methods using technology. And it is a technology enhanced classroom that fosters opportunities for teaching, learning by integrating learning technology, such as computers, specialized software, audience response technology, assistive software, and then assistive listening devices, networking, and audiovisual capabilities. Now, I would like to say that uh, this is a podium you can see, and from the, actually this is a high raised platform from uh, where we teachers speak through, and this is a wide board, and here is the projector. One projector is there, and from this projector, when we take the class in on a digital platform. This when we scroll down our screen, this is a projector screen, and then we uh, communicate with the students via PPT or via uh, any audio visual uh, things. And we this is one screen, TV screen is there, and it is uh, totally equipped with all USB ports. You can see, I think so. Adapter is there so that the teachers can. Uh, take the, you can see this is a digital platform. And this is the camera by which uh, we record the class for our future reference. This is the camera, the audio and visual recording is recorded via this thing. And it is air conditioner classroom. And again, I would like to say we have put the carton throughout the classroom so that it prevents the reflection on the whiteboard as well as the projector screen. And there are some uh, speaker box you can see. Speaker box is there. Now, I would like to say that some universities also use artificial uh, simulation 
for the engineering subjects such as automotive and or aerospace then students can use artificial intelligence to stimulate their models various automotive component allowing them to test out motor parts without actually having to build them once the simulation passes a test they go ahead and build a prototype this saves them time and resources making the learning process more efficient so i would like to conclude that working in an environment in such an environment involves interactive learning through technology and actually encourages collaboration through the discussion and project group project now now if you want to ask about the virtual lab you can ask about this and uh, just uh, give me a few minutes that i will show you the classrooms okay there are three classrooms now we are entering to the classroom this is our uh, board you can observe it now the uh, similar three classrooms um, similar to other classrooms are there likewise where you will be con we will be conducting your classes in your future now i would like to ask you that if you have any questions regarding this virtual lab as well as the classroom you may uh, raise your hand and the, our host will unmute you हेलो नीतीश सर हेलो इसका सेशन खत्म सर सर यस सर आई विल टू आफ्टर सम टाइम प्लीज वेट अच्छा ठीक है मैम डू यू यू वांट टू कंटिन्यू या प्लीज या इट्स ओवर सर ओके या या इट्स ओवर ओके ओके मैम इस पास में तो आवर आदरणीय मुखर्जी सर ओके 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 मैम ओके थैंक यू Uh, okay so uh, we are moving towards the next part uh, atnu sir can you hear me now ha theek hai abhi dikh raha hai na okay let me camera ko yeah अभी क्लासरूम देख रहा है क्या हेलो यस यस सर यस सर बट सर यू नेटवर्क बैंड विथ यस सर प्लीज का ठीक है प्लीज कंटिन्यू इट इज विजिबल सर प्लीज तो दिस इज द इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग लैबोरेटरी लोकेटेड इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट फर्स्ट फ्लोर It is approximately a forty-five meter by twenty-five meter size. It has got twenty drawing uh, stands where sixty students can be accommodated. But we cannot accommodate sixty. We can accommodate forty in this. So, you are a drawing class, ka? Hello, hello. Yes, sir. Now you are visible. 
अच्छा सो दिस इज सम सैंपल ड्रॉइंग केप्ट ऑन द बोर्ड वी हैव स्टार्टेड फॉर अ फ्यू डेज फॉर लास्ट टू इयर्स इट इज नॉट ऑपरेटिंग ओके एंड देयर आर विजन मिशन प्रिंटेड ऑन ऑन द साइन बोर्ड्स ऑफ आवर डिपार्टमेंट विजन मिशन एंड पीयूज सो then uh, this is our syllabus syllabus for drawing this is semester 1 semester 2 as per quran syllabus but now uh, the jud syllabus is little bit different it is only one one semester theek hai and uh, students are, are listening or not students hai na participant mein participant yes sir yes sir please continue अच्छा स्टूडेंट लोग को लिए थोड़ा एडवाइस है वी हैव टू बाय सम स्मॉल इक्विपमेंट फॉर दिस ड्राइंग क्लास दैट इज वन टी स्क्वायर टू इंजीनियरिंग सेट स्क्वायर सेट स्क्वायर होता है दो सिस्टम का एवरीबॉडी मस्ट हैव सीन द सेट स्क्वायर इन देयर ज्योमेट्री बॉक्स इन द स्कूल लाइफ वन इज 45 डिग्री 45 डिग्री एंड अदर इज 30 60 डिग्री एंड दे आर अवेलेबल इन ग्रेजुएटेड With a graduated scale, one side में उसका scale रहता है, दूसरा side में millimeter का रहता है. I have got built-in French cars, जिस car draw करता है, and two pencils H and two H. Because I'm going to start by fourth of February from two ten to three pm. So every it is for all the branches. That you have to buy some small things. One edge, two edge pencil, pencil cutter, rubber, one compass. Compass, oh, school wala hara se bhi ho jaye. Don't buy instrument box. Uh, single piece ka hisab se. I am showing the drawing size, drawing board size. I will discuss the about sizes and all these things in the class. ठीक है. But little things has to be procured personally. That one T square, two C square, two pencil, and one pencil compass. Okay. Uh, so the classroom is quite big and is enormously lighted by natural sunlight. So, little sir, or any other explanation? Explanation is required. No sir, thank you very much. Sir. You have okay. tried uh, too much regarding ink drawing, okay. and uh, was yeah. very good. So now I am moving towards uh, to the next part. I request uh, Dr. Tha Sankar sir to to show syllabus. Sara sir, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Please, okay. please, sir. Okay. So, hello, everyone, again. So, now I will show you the just a brief introduction or just quick uh, view of our syllabus. Okay. So, let me first quickly open it and then. Okay. Okay, let me share my screen. Yeah. So all of you know that uh, you are the first year students. Okay. So in the first year, we will uh, study mainly the basic science courses. Okay. So this is the and you are uh, your syllabus is uh, according to the Jharkhand University of Technology, Rachi. From 2018, we are following that syllabus. Okay. Before that, we our college was. Following the Kolhapur University, but now it is Jharkhand University of Technology. Uh, the year of 2018. So I think now you can see uh, see my screen. So this is the first year undergraduate degree courses in engineering and technology. Okay, according to the Jharkhand University of Technology, 2018 syllabus. From 2018, we are following them. Okay. Achha, next, I'll quickly go to the summary page where you can see. 
the courses. <coughs> See, so these are, these are the first semester courses. Okay, so first thing is the BSc 101 physics. Okay, it is four credit course. Okay, and next is the BSc 103 mathematics one. It is also first four credit course course. Another is the basic electrical engineering and chemistry. So these are the alternative. Either you will study basic electrical engineering or you will study chemistry in the first semester. Okay. Actually, in our college, uh, me mechanical students and civil engineering students will study the chemistry in the first semester. And civil, sorry, uh, electrical, electronics, and computer science students will study the basic electrical engineering. And in the second semester, we will switch this subject. Okay. In the second semester, the mechanical civil student will study the Basic electrical engineering study student subject and civil mechanical study the uh, sorry electronics electrical and compression study with the chemistry subject. okay so this is also four credit course and all these theory courses you have 30 marks in the internal and 70 parts for the external uh, in semester examination from the university okay. total it is 100 marks next is the lab courses practical courses the first one is the engineering graphics and engineering de uh, design. It is ESC 102. Okay. As uh, uh, Professor Atanam Mukherjee was, was showing you the uh, the lab uh, just a few minutes back. So it, it has uh, it is a four credit course. Sorry, three credit. Uh, sorry, four plus one. It is a three credit course. Okay. So it is it is actually uh, yeah. It is total. It is. Uh, 25 plus 25, it is 50 marks course. Okay. 50, 25 is internal, 25 is external, it's university exam. Next is the physics lab. It is one point, uh, sorry, uh, just making some mistake. Yeah. Total hours is three and it is 1.5 credit course. And it is also same 25 for the internal exam marks and 25 for the external in semester exam for university. Total 50 marks. Next thing is the Basic electrical engineering lab and chemistry lab. It is also credit one, 25 for internet, 25 for external total 50 marks. Okay. This is all about the syllabus in the first semester and the score structure. And the second uh, semester, you have physics two, um, BSc 105. You have basic electrical engineering or chemistry, as I said, it is alternative. If you have studied in first semester chemistry, then in the second semester, you will study the basic electrical engineering. Okay. Next is the BSc 104, it is Mathematics 2 for the second semester. Next is the BSc 103, it is Programming for Problem Solving course, and it is also 30 plus 70. All these are 30 plus 70, 30 for internal examination and 70 for the end semester university examination, total 100 marks. And next is the English, HSMC 101. Okay, the communication skill, as Manav has shown you the language lab, there will uh, take the classes for the English. Okay. It is a three credit course, total 30 plus 70, 100 marks syllabus, 100 marks exam will be there. Next is the second semester experiment and practical classes, ESC 104. It is workshop and manufacturing practices. Okay. Next is the basic electrical and engineering and chemistry lab also. Same, it is ESC 101P and BSc 102P. Alternative. And the last lab is the programming for problem solving, solving ESC 103P. Okay. And it is also 25 plus 25, 50 marks. Course. Okay. Achha. I think uh, that is all about the course structure. Now I'm quickly showing the syllabus. Though the teach, expected teacher will show you the syllabus, just I'm going with just a glance, actually, quick glance. This is BSC 101, Mathematics 1. It has five module okay five module so this is the thing and four credit course next thing is the, is the it is a common syllabus previously it was uh, syllabus csc department has uh, had some different syllabus and other branches have different syllabus but now it is common syllabus okay. all the five branches will start the same course okay. next is the physics uh, physics syllabus yeah it has Six module. Okay. So, respective teacher will show you uh, uh, one by one what are the syllabus include. 
what are the topics i am just showing you this is a four credit course and these are the six module okay so we already started late so i think uh, your classes will start soon so i think today in the second half you have the classes actually yeah this is the physics syllabus and next thing is the chemistry i will be teaching you the chemistry this is bsc 102 it is also four credit course and it has also six module six module that i will discuss all these things in detail in our classes okay i'm not going to very details on that okay and also you have the basic electrical engineering okay i can quickly go there for the basic electrical engineering syllabus Yeah, here it is. So this is the basic electrical engineering syllabus. It is also a four credit course and is the alternative of the chemistry one. Okay, so it has total six modules. Okay, these are the modules for the basic electrical engineering course. Okay, so the respective teacher will guide you which module will be Starting first, and, and they will provide you the study materials also. All the teachers should provide you the study materials. So we have to be very attentive as we have the less time to finish the courses. We have to be very regular and you have to be very attentive to follow all the classes. Okay. So our classes will start soon. Okay. So that's all for my side to show you or to give you a quick glance about the syllabus of the uh, first year, first semester and second semester courses. Okay, thank you all. See you in the class. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, that was very good job from your side. So at last, uh, uh, we are going to conclude this uh, today's induction program. And it is the second day. Uh, so, all students are requested to kindly attend the lectures from uh, 2.10 p.m. today. Uh, and from this note, I am going to end this uh, induction program. And uh, I request uh, all of you to, if you are uh, comfortable to on your video, uh, then you can switch on your video so that I can have the screenshot of this uh, group induction program. Okay. I think you have enjoyed a lot uh, of today's induction program and so now I'm going to take the photo. So from uh, now, uh, I'm going to end this induction program. Thank you very much and have a nice day. And please attend the lectures from 2.10 p.m.